Hello and welcome to 3 from 1. This is the last one from Decca. Today it's on Pilsen map. The reason I chose this over the others I had was really because it takes an unusual position, at least for me. So that's what I want to show you. Decca's team somewhat seems undecided to what to do. And Decca is going towards the 1-2 line. A lot of people probably are gone in the 8-9 line instead. 0 line. I'm not sure about that. I tend to fuck up pretty bad out there. So let's see how Decca does in the 2 and 1 line here. Also I want to thank for all the replays you sent due to a little fuck up by me. I didn't get them until the version actually changed. So can't really record them that well. Sorry guys. Please keep sending them. And Decca caught the first bad chat. And something was definitely knocked over in the back. So he's not all alone. M48 Patton is such a funny tank to drive after the buff, I think at least. Personally, I really like it a lot. Very impressed that he has lost his patience yet. And here he decides to push the bad shot. And finds out it was the VZ120 that knocked over the tree probably before. And he decides not to go hold on and stay in the open, so that can actually pen it. Meanwhile, the BC is trying to inflict some damage, which is not going too well. And the J Panther gets the kill on the B set. I guess that will be the end of the bad shot. And it's over for the bad shot. I'm really surprised they're not pushing into this middle building thing section. Usually this seems to be a very big hot spot, but it seems like most of the tanks are actually spotted on the outside or the middle. So let's see what Decker can find. Put in the comments what you think about the new update, guys. I'm really happy with it. Uh, it looks really good, I think. And of course, it doesn't change the fundamental gameplays, but it really it looks good now. While I was talking, Decker tracked the T10 and farmed him down to zero, so he's out of the game, ready to go to the garage. And here's the Yak Tiger. Of course, he also tracks that one. I would definitely also try to, so he would keep still while the farm is on. He really utilizes also well the hold down position and, uh, and the strong turret of the M48 pattern. I also think one of the things that I could at least work on to be uh, come a lot better is maybe the target selection. It's not always quite clear to me why they pick one target over another one. Here it's pretty obvious, of course, the 140 shoots very fast. I did them. He does have some support for the T10 and the A3K, J Pan of course. So he might as well take the shots while they look at him. Or the others. Nice. Still fairly even. Decker's team is like 2k, 3k ahead now. And he moves in for the kill shot on the Jack Tiger. And he's out. By the way, thanks a lot for your emails about or regarding to who Rosa is. I really think you should ask shit about that. Uh, he's probably the best guy to answer, I guess. So, go to Shiz's channel and ask him who Rosa is. I really don't know, guys. Meanwhile, Decker gets a hit from a Badger and a 50B. And he's reduced to 600 hit points. That will make the whole thing a little bit more edgy. Fifty B is gone and out, but the battery is still here. And looks pretty prepared for the one that comes from the corner, so we'll have to see. Nice track shot. Pretty interesting to see what Decker's going to do here, because I wouldn't be doing this, I would go around the back probably. But then again, I'm not Decker, and he managed to find a shot over the dead tank. And the Badger shoots. Ooh, a 
have thought he hit his own teammate there, but he surely didn't. Fortunately, the T10 didn't. Can he shot at the bathroom? Looks like they get the size to flank around. Meanwhile, Dekker's team has made it so they're double in HP now. Still even on tanks. Oh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be able to take out this badger at least. Got him pretty flanked between tents. Oh, that was unlucky shot. I have no idea what that was a track shot. Made it look like he was gonna hit the bottom plane. But the scout takes him out. Still seven tanks left. Well, six tanks left. A platoon, tier eight. That's one of them. The bean hacker. I don't know, I would probably have gone behind them, but I can see the point that they has here that he sits in the middle and can pretty much hit a lot more tanks. Got a shot in the STV. Probably decides to go towards platoon 1, the 2 tier 8 heavies, which don't seem to have moved a lot. Of course, Panzer gets spotted. See if he can get a shot in the STV. No. He's in a good position. Once the first shot from 1390, next one pens, and a nice shot. And he's out. And Dekker's reduced to a one shot. I think maybe I'll take a little bit of a holdback position to see if I can find something. Nice shot, Capote. And he decides to go look for the 140. That's the last tank around. It's been a really good game, I think. He really worked the, the minimap well, I think. Length. I'm still surprised he pushed that much in the beginning alone. I don't know what he sees that I don't see, but it uh, seems definitely to work out. And the 140 is gone. And let's go to the result and have a look. So, of course, you got a steel wall, high caliber, confederate, mastery, all the other stuff. He made 9,624 damage, 4 kills, 1,400 spotting, 2.8 bounds, and he had a minus 31,000. So all in all, thanks a lot, Decker, for letting me use your replays. I really appreciate it. And uh, everybody go watch his stream. See you next time, guys. English one or the Russian one, but man pulled up in the German one. Two four fours in a four-door truck. There's one on the right, on the left. There's one. We don't wait for.